friends this video on how to organisms reproduce part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exam topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction what is reproduction why is reproduction necessary types of reproduction asexual reproduction where we we'll talk about fission budding regeneration and vegetative propagation sexual reproduction wherein we'll discuss sexual reproduction in plants and in human beings reproductive health and family planning so what do you think are we going to study in this lesson how do organisms reproduce well in our previous lesson we talked about the various life processes right wherein we talked about uh, the process of digestion how the how do we get food how do we get energy from the food which we eat we talk we talked about respiration which which discussed the exchange of gases inside our body with the external environment and how each cell of our body gets energy how do they survive so we talked about uh, cellular oxidation as well as gaseous exchange in respiration we also spoke about the circulatory system that is how blood transports various objects to different parts of the body and we also spoke about excretion how are the waste products of the body thrown out of the body so these were some of the processes which need to take place inside our body for our survival if any of these processes stop functioning the living organism is going to die right so all these things are necessities for us now in this lesson we will talk about reproduction what is reproduction in short it is nothing but giving birth to young ones now the question is why are we studying about reproduction i mean what is the necessity of giving birth to a new individual we do not need to reproduce in order to be alive even if we do not give birth to a new organism we are still alive so that way it is not something which is really necessary for us to do otherwise we are going to die it is not like that then what is the significance of reproduction now just imagine for a moment here on the screen you can see that a hell lot of living organisms are there right so do you think that all these organisms exist infinitely no right i mean each of these category of organisms they exist in certain numbers right for example if i talk about the elephants there are a certain number of elephants which are who are existing on this earth similarly there are a certain number of lions existing in this earth right so there are some specific numbers of each type of organism which is who are living on this earth now let us assume for a moment that if there is no reproduction now all the living organisms collectively thought that when reproduction is something which is not really necessary for us to be alive then why should we reproduce because for any process which is happening inside our body we need a lot of energy so a lot of energy is spent for this process of reproduction as well right so everybody so these organisms thought that okay fine we are not going to spend so much of extra energy when we are not getting anything out of it so let's stop reproducing so now if you assume that nobody is reproducing now so what's going to happen in the next couple of years so the number of elephants which are existing on this earth they will start dying up because as they grow old they will age they will suffer from some diseases or something or the other will happen and they will start dying similarly that is not only for elephants it is true for all the living organisms all kind of living organisms be it the aquatic fishes or octopus or be it the human beings so now gradually over a period of time what will happen no life will exist on earth because everything will finish each species of organisms will come to an end so now you get the significance of reproduction so why do what does reproduction do 
it is actually trying to compensate the number of organisms which are dying. For example, let us consider human beings because that becomes more easy for us to understand, right? So let us consider ourselves. We have seen so many people, even in our own family or in relatives, who grow very old. Maybe somebody who is 90 years old or 95 years old, they, their body becomes weak, they start suffering from some or the other diseases and they eventually die. Right? So that ways the population keeps increasing, uh, sorry, population keeps decreasing. But at the same time, so many new babies are born. Right? So, so on one way, people are dying. But on the other way, new human beings are being born. So both are maintaining the balance. So both are getting compensated. So that is how, that is why since reproduction is there, that is why human beings are existing. So that is and that is true for each and every living organism on this earth. So we, that is the agenda of this lesson. We are going to study how these organisms actually reproduce. So this process of reproduction is again not very simple. It is quite complex in higher animals like human beings. So we will dedicate this entire lesson in understanding how this process of reproduction actually takes place. So let us start with what is reproduction. So before we go ahead with anything, we should first get clear with the process, what it is. It is the process by which living organisms produce new organisms similar to themselves. Right? Now when I say similar to themselves, now when I say similar to themselves, what do I mean by similar to themselves? Does that mean that any organism which gives birth to a new organism, that organism is always going to be similar to the parent? Is it like that? Let's look at some of the examples. Have you ever noticed that the baby elephant, it resembles the elephant, right? Even if not exactly, but at least by looking at the baby elephant, you can say that, okay, an elephant has given birth to this baby. A baby, uh, The baby of an elephant will not look like a lion. Right? Why is it? Why is it that? Because in this process of reproduction, organisms are going to produce the new organisms similar to themselves. Similarly, for a human being, the baby has similarities of the parents. First of all, the baby will look similar to to a human being. I mean, it will have all the features like a normal human being. On top of that, they will have similarities to their parents. For example, you would have seen, even for all, any one of us, we look very similar to our parents. Some of us look exactly like our father. Some of us look very similar to our mom. Some of us look very different from both of them. So, but in most of the cases, there are some similarities with them parents. Now, how much is the similarity and how much is the difference? That again depends. That depends on many different things which we will talk up, talk as we gradually go ahead with the lesson. So, similarly here you can see different living organisms and their respective babies. So, here you can see the baby of a giraffe looks very similar to the giraffe. Similar is the case for a fish. The baby fish looks quite similar to the mommy fish. Right? So, reproduction is a process where a living organism will produce new organisms similar to themselves. Now, whether it is going to be exactly similar or somewhat similar, that depends on many other factors. Right? So, we are clear with what is reproduction. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.